Taylor Sophia Edwards. <laughs> As you know, from the very first day I met you, I vowed to marry you one day. When I was struggling and at the lowest point in my life, you helped lift me up, and ever since then have been a crucial part of the maintenance of my well-being. Every day spent with you is the best day I could ask for. I vow to be your travel partner as much as possible and to continue to encourage exploration. Andrew, we both know, oh my gosh. Andrew, we both know what an indecisive person I can be. But despite that, I am confident in choosing you every day from this day forward and in our relationship. I knew you were cute from the moment I saw you. I knew you were smart from the moment I spoke to you. But over time, I've seen what a truly kind, compassionate, and generous person you are. You've grown so much together over the last seven years, and I know we will continue to grow together over the years to come. Dearly loved friends and family, we have come here today with great joy to celebrate the marriage of Andrew and Taylor. You are all important and cherished by Taylor and Andrew, and they are very grateful you could be a part of this special day. For Andrew and Taylor, this is the beginning of the next chapter of their story. I you eight May your mornings bring joy and your evenings bring peace. May your troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May the saddest day of your future be no worse than the happiest day of your past. May your hands be forever clasped in friendship and your hearts join forever in love. Your lives are very special and God has touched you in many ways. May his blessings rest upon you and fill all your coming day days. God bless this couple who marry today. Andrew is my best friend and I'm very excited for him and Taylor to have this event tonight. And I'm excited that I was part of Andrew's life as living with him when he first met Taylor. They've had a challenging uh, seven years that they've been together. They've grown together and, and I've seen that Andrew is, uh, has learned to you know, be supportive and, and they work well together. I can see that, uh, that you care deeply for her and uh, I expect you to always take care of her. They say friends are, are the family that you choose. Uh, and for us, it, it feels a little bit different because I feel like uh, it's been life that has chosen us. And it's been life that has chosen us to be best friends. You woke up this morning as two individuals, and you will now leave this ceremony as one. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I pronounce you, Andrew and Taylor, as husband and wife. Andrew, you may now kiss your bride. Taylor and 
I were always together. We lovingly called each other twin, and there's nothing we wouldn't do for each other. She loves selflessly, is wildly supportive, and will always find the positive side of things. Even when life pulls us in different directions, seeing Taylor always feels like coming home. First time I met Andrew right before your guys' third date, you had just left and I told mom you were going to marry him. You two really are the perfect couple, like Amanda said, a power couple. I'm so happy that my golden sister found her golden husband. I'm so incredibly proud of the man that he's become, the man that he is. Um, I've been proud of him since before I met him. Today we celebrate the happy couple, Taylor and Andrew, to a long life together filled with love, happiness, and lots of wonderful memories. It is so clear that you two have built a partnership on a foundation of friendship and compassion and trust. You support each other's dreams and despite your mixed schedules and your odd hours, you push each other forward and you grow together. It is a joy to see your best friend so happy and so Andrew, thank you for loving her so well.